Those of you that know how to hunt and know how to use a scope, then this, you'll find this very simple. Just get across here. Kind of minute. So take all the wheel weights off before you start, and you gotta make sure that um, this is not on the inside. It's a nice clean rim. The tire's poor, but it'll work for what we're using it for. Okay, first thing you start with this machine, this is an old, very, very old balancer in like 10 of 1978. Like I was in middle school, right? so that's how old it was. Um, the way you start with this is you look down on this, if we look here, you got a cross here with a, with a bubble inside of it. Look, see, is it in the center? No. <laughs> okay. okay, can you see it? All right. So is it in the center? No, not really. Okay. So you got to fix that. So is there going to rise or fall in this in this bubble with moisture in there, with, with fluid in there? It's going to rise. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you need to then just like that. Better. Kind of on the money. Okay, so there's a triangle on there. The triangle points to the valve stem. Okay. Make sure there's no weights on it. it. Actually, has air in it. Kind of important. And you can't if you if you knock and move this thing, you've got to start over. And it's got to be set. <coughs> and the bubble's got to be set before you start. Mm. You tired? No. Stand up. I'm 58. I'm like 40 years older than you are. I don't like do dumbbells while I'm sitting. When you think that? When you think of me being as lazy then, if I was doing that? I don't know. Yeah, you would. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Then, a little lever in here. Push down on it. Now it's floating there. There's oil inside of this, so you, if you ever have to move this thing, move it from the base, pick it straight up or slide it. You pick it up by the center, that thing oil's gonna go all over the place. I put motor oil on it yesterday. Hmm. Does that look right now? Now the trick to this is to put the minimum amount of weight on here to make it go in the center. So we don't know if this thing is statically out of balance, if it's dynamically out of balance, we just know that it's not, it, that it's not balanced. So we know that um, that the air is, that the highest point is over here somewhere. So we go where the heavy part is where? <coughs> the opposite side. It's going to push down. The air is going to come up on the other side. Gentlemen, what do you need? Close your hand. Great. Um, just put it there on top. That's not on top anywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. All right. We'll put those two there. How's that look? Funny how I know how much weight I was going to pick to do that. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe because I've already done it this oh, last couple days. So here's what you do. These are the Hunter ones from that machine, very new machine. You take this, you flip this back up. You take one of these wheel weights and you put right there where we had those two sitting. The other thing there is so you know, scratch up your nice aluminum rims. You take this back off of here, carefully. Find out where your wheel weight went, it's right here. And you go up, exactly over the other side, and put it on the exact opposite side. 
Now this isn't nearly as accurate as the laser, is it? And I can tell just by feeling it, I didn't get it in the right spot. I am much better. And then what? Now put back on the machine. Okay, make sure we did it right. I mean, that'd be perfect, but we're trying to get it close. Let me do it. Not perfect, but it's pretty close. Okay. Yeah. And you guys play a little bit more if you have to, you know, but that's how that's done. I'm only making you do one of these. I just want you to know how it's done. I like this machine because it truly shows that it's out of balance and what you have to do and how much weight you have to put on it to fix it. You should have no more than two weights on this, one per side. Not a weight here, a weight here, and a weight here. There's no point. Probably only needs one. And you put just the minimum amount of weight on it to complete that task. Okay? Simple. Um, if Mr. Roscoe's here tomorrow, it'll be just regular lab. Okay? If he's not here tomorrow, Fort Island training or your tech report. Okay, don't care what you do. We gotta clean up, get these cars out of here.